How to protect your kids from secondhand smoke. Cigarette smoke contains around 4,000 chemicals, a number of which are known carcinogens, and is related to a range of illnesses such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cancer, and heart disease. Despite this awareness, many people continue to smoke, and it can be difficult to protect children from exposure to the secondhand smoke produced by this deadly habit. Here are some steps you can take to protect your children from secondhand smoke. Reducing secondhand smoke exposure in your home, car. Quit smoking. If you are a smoker, the most important step you can take is to quit. Even if you do not smoke in the presence of your children, the smoke that lingers in your clothes, hair, furniture, and car can still have a negative impact on their health. This is known as third-hand smoke. Smoking can leave behind a residue which can also negatively impact the health of your children. Find resources to help you quit. Smoking is a challenging addiction to give up. Fortunately, there are many resources available, which can help guide you through the process. Try following the START acronym, set a quit date, tell friends and family that you plan on quitting, anticipate challenges, remove tobacco from your car, work, and home, and talk to your doctor about support. Consider the benefits you will experience. In addition to protecting your children, you will also be improving your own health. Consider that, 20 minutes after your last cigarette, your heart rate and blood pressure decrease. One year after quitting, your risk of contracting coronary heart disease is cut in half. 10 years after quitting, the risk of dying from lung cancer is 50% lower than that of a continuing smoker. Find resources to help you quit. Smoking is a challenging addiction to give up. Fortunately, there are many resources available, which can help guide you through the process. Try following the START acronym, set a quit date, tell friends and family that you plan on quitting, anticipate challenges, remove tobacco from your car, work, and home, and talk to your doctor about support. Consider the benefits you will experience. In addition to protecting your children, you will also be improving your own health. Consider that, 20 minutes after your last cigarette, your heart rate and blood pressure decrease. One year after quitting, your risk of contracting coronary heart disease is cut in half. 10 years after quitting, the risk of dying from lung cancer is 50% lower than that of a continuing smoker. Help others quit smoking, if they are ready. Other adults who spend a lot of time around your children, and who also smoke, pose a risk to them. Research suggests that having social support can play an important role in helping an individual to quit smoking, especially during the first few months after giving up cigarettes. Although quitting is a personal choice, you may also be able to persuade them to quit, if you feel they simply need a small push. Calmly explain to them that you want them to quit because of the dangerous carcinogens they are exposing your children to. Explain to them the personal benefits they may experience from quitting. If they agree to give quitting a shot, offer as much emotional support as possible. Calmly explain to them that you want them to quit because of the dangerous carcinogens they are exposing your children to. Explain to them the personal benefits they may experience from quitting. If they agree to give quitting a shot, offer as much emotional support as possible. Forbid smoking in your home. It is your home, and you have the right to make the rules. If an adult visiting your home wishes to smoke, make it clear that smoking will only be allowed outdoors, away from the children. Even if children are not present, the residue left behind from smoking is still present and harmful. Forbid smoking in your car. Some people believe that simply rolling down the windows is enough to protect others from secondhand smoke. This is wrong, and rolling down the windows may actually help to blow the smoke directly into the faces of those sitting in the back seat. Even if your kids are not in the car while someone smokes, the risk of third-hand smoke exposure still exists. Check your lease agreement. If you live in an apartment building with other tenants who smoke, you may be affected by second-hand smoke. Check your contract to see if there are any restrictions about smoking indoors. If there is not, and a smoking neighbor is affecting you, try to resolve the issue by kindly discussing the matter with them. If you are unable to resolve the issue with the smoker, try broaching the subject with your landlord. They might be willing to make your building a smoke-free building.